Yashovarman, also known as Lakshavarman, was a king of the Chandela dynasty of India. He ruled in the Jajakabhukti region, in present day, Bundelkhand. He practically established the Chandelas as a sovereign power, although he formally acknowledged Susi Ainti of the Gurjara Pratiharas. His major military achievement was the conquest of Kalanjara. He is also notable for having commissioned the Lakshmana temple at Kajuraho. Yashovarman was born to the Chandela ruler, Harsha, who was a feudatory of the Gurjara Pratiharas, of Kanyakubja. His mother was Kanchuka, who came from a Chatamana family. By the time Yashovarman's ascension, the Pratiharas depended on their feudatories to a large extent. The Rash Trakutas, who were the main rival of the Pratiharas, were busy in dynastic feuds. This offered the Chandelas an opportunity, to increase their own power. Yashovarman did not formally give up the allegiance to the Pratiharas, but he was practically independent. Yashovarman conquered the important fortress of Kalanjara. He defeated the Rash Trakutas, who had captured Kalanjara, from the Pratiharas. The car had copper plate inscription, of the Rash Trakuta king, Krishna three states that, the hope about Kalanjara and Gurjara, vanished from the heart of the Gurjara. Yashovarman, may have captured the fort from the Rash Trakutas, but, he continued the Pratihara sovereignty, even after conquering Kalanjara. Yashovarman's conquest of Kalanjara is undisputed, his successors, including his son Dhanga, titled themselves as Kalanjaratapati, Lord of Kalanjara. According to Kajuraho inscription, King Yashovarman defeated Gaudas, Kosalas, perished the Kashmiri warriors, who weakened the Mithilas, and scorching fire to the Gurjaras. The ruler of the Gauda region, in present-day West Bengal, is believed to be a Pala king, possibly Rajyapala or his successor Gopala II. The Palas attempted to resurrect their power, through westward expansion, which might have resulted in their conflict with the Chandelas. The Chandelas did not occupy Gauda, but their invasion further weakened the Pala power, possibly paving way, for the subsequent usurpation of the power by the Kambojhas. The Chetis in the Kajuraho inscription denotes, the Kalashuris of Tripuri. The Chandela Kalashurai relations were friendly in the preceding years. It appears that, the Kalashurai alliance with the Rash Trakutas, led to a rivalry between the two kingdoms. The Chandelas acknowledged the Susi Ainti of the Pratiharas, who were the rivals of the Rash Trakutas. The Kalashuris on the other hand, had forged matrimonial alliances with the Rash Trakutas, and probably aided them in their anti pratihara campaigns. The identity of the Kalashur king defeated by Yashovarman is not certain, because, three Kalashur kings ruled in quick succession, as his contemporaries. The defeated king might have been Bala Harsha, who ruled for a very short period, and whose name has been omitted, from some of the records of his successors. Yashovarman's achievements in Mithila are not certain, he possibly defeated a tributary ruler, who occupied a small territory on the Pratiharapala border. The Kuru region was a part of the Pratihara territory, so the claim about the Kurus also seems to be an exaggeration. However, it is possible that, the Chandelas clashed with the Gurjara Pratiharas, after their occupation of Kalanjara. Yashovarman's reign, marked the beginning of the famous Chandela era art, and architecture. He acquired a prestigious statue, of vacant the Vishnu from his overlord Devapala, and commissioned the Lakshmana temple at Kajuraho.